Greetings, friends of Laurel Street. I trust you are doing well today and finding ways to continue to cope with these difficult times. During the last couple weeks, I've heard of more and more exhaustion and fatigue. And personally, I have also been feeling that and sometimes finding that my cup feels like it's empty. And that's why I find God drawing me to Psalm 23 this week, to find rest and comfort in God's shepherding care, to have my cup filled again. The story is told of a party where the host invited everyone to share a poem or a story or a favorite scripture. And one of the persons at the beginning of the evening was a well-known actor and he shared Psalm 23 very powerfully with dramatic expression and great poise. And at the end, everyone applauded him loudly because he had done such a good job. And as the evening progressed, one by one, other people shared a story or a scripture uh, or a poem. And at the end of the evening, the last person who shared was an elderly lady who had dozed off earlier in the evening and didn't realize that another person had shared Psalm 23. And so when it was her turn to share, she also shared Psalm 23. She began with great emotion. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And as she continued, the audience was stirred and deeply moved as she finished with surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Instead of applause, there was complete stillness and silence for a moment as everyone felt the presence of the loving shepherd in this woman's life. And after the party, someone went up to the well-known actor and said, why was there such a difference between the people's response at your reading and the people's response at her reading of Psalm 23? And the actor thought for a moment and then said, I suppose that maybe it's because I know the psalm and she knows the shepherd. We all know the psalm, probably. In fact, some of us may know it so well that we can even recite it by memory. I sense God inviting us this week to make a special effort to take time to know the shepherd and not just the psalm. To experience the shepherd's gentle, loving presence and care and comfort. To find rest for our souls. To find spaces of green pasture and still waters, and maybe to have our cups filled to overflowing. And then this coming Sunday, in place of the sermon, we will break out into smaller groups in our Zoom meeting, and we will have opportunity to share how we experienced our walk with the shepherd this week. Perhaps it will be a phrase or a word that captured your attention in Psalm 23. Or maybe an example of green pasture or still waters or how God is refreshing your soul or filling your cup or maybe a prayer request, a deep longing within you to experience 
the care of the shepherd. The psalmist David knew what it was like to be a shepherd. He knew a lot about sheep and pastures and still waters and shepherding. He loved the image of God as a shepherd because he knew that a shepherd's job is to care for you and make you feel safe and nourished and calm and peaceful. And so I now invite you to sit in the presence of our loving shepherd as you listen to Psalm 23. May you feel refreshed, restored, protected, guided, and loved. For even in the midst of shadows and darkness, the Lord, our shepherd, is with you. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever.